people like Sandarya, there is also your daughter Eshwarya. Both of them, however, chose to go behind the camera. And uh, also it's a new woman power because these girls are doing something that earlier they didn't think that women could do independently themselves like you know they're heroes in their own right i think uh, both of them have great creative energy and they've been artisting right from childhood in different ways saundarya was sketching painting doing collage junk arts she was putting everything into graphic presentation right from childhood aishwarya was into dance uh, music and then she also was a story writer i could see the aptitude in both of both of them I was waiting to see which way they would go. <laughs> you could be creative in so many ways, then you have to catch one direction and go forward. I think that's what they did. And uh, I was there all along to uh, support them in whatever they did. I started a project a couple of years ago, and at that point, the technology was not as updated as it is today. And also for various reasons, that project got shelved. But my animation dream went on. And it so happened after that, that uh, my father started this film called Rana. And unfortunately, he fell ill. So once he got better, uh, we didn't want him to go through any physical strain. And this technology is not physically strenuous for the actors. Because shooting, I mean, if you see the little bit of the making um, of our film, um, shooting is step one. And they perform with um, infrared cameras around them with track points on their body. During discussion, it just came up saying, how can we make it less strenuous? And I popped up and I said, let's use performance capture technology because it is one, the first time in the country. And two, it has my dad bringing this technology into Indian entertainment. And three, it felt right. My father asked me if I was confident of handling it. It is my first film. But I think um, God's grace I think I, I have a strong knowledge in animation and technology. So I think when I spoke to him and I convinced him that I could take the role of director, it's only after he was convinced that the story was good and the technology was apt and that I could handle it, he gave his nod. Today, Sandarya is getting the award that your husband got a few years back from NDTV. So how do you feel? That's a wonderful feeling, Pooja, because the next generation to come back and uh, get recognized for the work they do that's a wonderful feeling for me. And uh, having worked so hard on Kocharen and Saundarya achieving the, this award, I think it's a great crown on her cap. Congratulations. You've, won, you've been on the same platform as your dad was. So how does that feel? Uh, I'm overwhelmed and I have no words to describe how I felt when I was called on that stage. And Appa was on this stage uh, winning an award from NDTV very recently. and. Thank you, I, I, I thank you and Pranay Roy sir, thank you so much for this recognition and it means so much to me because it's before the film's release and also it's so prestigious and um, it's wonderful to know that my work has been appreciated even before the release of the film so I'm feeling overwhelmed. So what was it like directing your dad? You said, uh, he said you were a very bossy director, is it? <laughs> Wow, it was in, I, I don't think I'll ever forget the first time I said action and cut to my dad and uh, I've said this before many times, the, there are three different me inside me when I direct my dad. One is a daughter, one is the director and one is the fan. And it was such a struggle controlling all these three characters in me because each one used to pop up at each time. But I think again, uh, directing my father in my first film has been a blessing and I've learned so much from him every day during shoot was learning so much and along with my dad, uh, I've worked with Ayara Amansa for the first time, uh, my first film and uh, veterans like Shobhana Ma'am and Deepika and you know all of these senior actors so I think my first film, God's just, God's been kind to me. And also, yes, as you said, people are not used to seeing this. Yes. So do you think that's the bigger challenge for all of you? because? Rajni sir's movie, everyone awaits breathlessly and is waiting for the movie, but seeing him like that. And what was his reaction when he saw the first I think he was minutes? amazed and uh, he, was, uh, he was just not able to understand how he could be shown this way, you know. It was uh, such an amazing experience for him, absolutely different experience because he's used to seeing himself uh, in live action. You go see the first copy, you see your actions, but that he could be shown in this format, in this realistic fashion. And with age reduction, you know, the character of the son and the, and the father, you, you have to bring it, Saundarya had to work on showing my uh, Rajni sir as 25 year old uh, youngster or a 30 year old youngster, a warrior and uh, Kocharyan the warrior in his, as a father and 
you know that was the biggest it was new for him to see himself in that young age shown like that and i think he was absolutely amazed and uh, awestruck about the whole thing